course. Uh, I know why you all want to hate me right now is because I want to hit play real quick. Coming soon to theaters. It's a VHS trailer ah, game! Okay. America and Australia's favorite game about obsolete <laughs> material. No proof to this is, uh, <laughs> Well, that's, I think, I think maybe... Australia's second favorite game show because the first favorite game show of Australia, as Ooh, everybody bo- knows, is Boxing what? Kangaroos. No, Find the Guzzling. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes exactly. Yes, yes. Yeah, so yeah, gu- I, sh- I think that when they air it in Australian TV, it's called mm-hmm. Guzz Hunt. Oh, yeah, dude. They just hunt that siphon. Guzz. They're so good <laughs> at <laughs> siphoning them. All right. Yeah. But yeah. this is Wilma the- here. Wilma took her hockey mask, <laughs> and we uh, we thought that was a nice stylistic right, addition. We, no, 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 we got to get a little class out of the VHS. Uh, yeah, yeah, class yeah, of the- which is, by the way, a Mission Impossible. It is a Mission Impossible, but not for you. You're in striking distance, Mr. Hunt. Uh I will say uh, this is kind of like, I'll give you a little schedule for the end of the season here. Good idea, Steve. This is, uh, we're in July, so there will be one here. There'll be one, uh, a full trailer game right now. And then there will be another trailer game on our Birdcage episode, which is broadcast live. And then on the Universal Soldier episode, which will be our last live episode of August, there'll be a bumper with a huge... VHS trailer game. That's mm-hmm. the finale. That's where all the points will be awarded and the winner will be crowned and yep. whomever wins will be able to choose an episode from the previous, from like the pre- first hundred or so episodes of, of mm-hmm. We Hate Movies fandom and redo it. Mm-hmm. So a like redo that. episode it based mm-hmm. upon whomever wins basically right now. The Considering score. who's in this room, it's probably going to be a Star Wars. <laughs> it could be a Star oh, Wars. I, I bet but you. The only, but the only archive Star Wars, I think, is Phantom, Phantom, Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace. Or Chris, actually, what do you want to do? I was thinking <laughs> the Phantom Menace. Honestly. Really? Oh, okay. Because oh, 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 I wasn't on that episode, and I, I feel oh, like I got some dots. Wow. Tiger in the cage. You know, I so, think we would pick the same episode. Oh, man. I don't know. So Chris has 49 big points. Oh, big they're, ones. they're very big um, ones. Eric has 41 medium-sized points. Uh, no, Not I, bad. I think there, there's, there's some husky boys in there. <laughs> they're girthy. Few, there's a few big points. Some are thinner. And Andrew has 28 points. Still in the, still in the running. It's child size points. <laughs> um, so you know how this goes. I'm going to do five clues. You know, you, whoever rings in, blah, blah, blah. If you get it wrong, you're not in the same round. Okay, so this is from the year 2000. Two, oh. two clues here. One of the three mm. movies I'm about to re- reveal mm. has been a previous episode on this very show. One of them. And more interestingly, every single trailer on Mission Impossible 2. All uh-huh. right. Was directed by a woman. So there you oh, go. Three wow. female directed okay. Okay. films. Here we go. Okay. So, Game Master's Clue. Sure. Nice. This rom com is fantastical for two reasons it involves a man getting telepathy and for positing that its lead, an embattled action star, is someone who can change and be able to get in touch with their feminine side. <gasps> Andrew Jupin. What women want. That is five big points uh, for go. Andrew Jupin. Oh, yeah. Very good. Oh. There you go. I'll see you next season, folks. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> the last I score. <laughs> I need to go back in time to think of Mel Gibson as an action star. Yeah. But, yes. but he was. He, he was. was. He let, was. Me, let me tell you something. Uh, I mean, yes, he was. And he is. There's an attempt again, dude. Coming soon to On Screen Live's secret movie section. Oh, I dude, like this. Dude, there's some dog shit like Mel Gibson LOL, Mel Gibson, a cop working for IAB. Oh, okay. oh yeah. And it, from the trail, I can't even think of the fucking name of it right now, but from the trailer, it is clear Mel Gibson is in 10 minutes of this movie. Yeah, of course. Oh, like there were no, seven nobodies. of those released this year thus far. And also, of course, he's lending his wonderful face that doesn't look like it's seen the ravages of alcohol at all. <laughs> um, he is putting, putting his mouth towards the Jim Caviezel sex trafficking uh, opus Sound of Freedom, I oh, believe. Oh, that's oh, that's sure. burning up the box office oh, yeah, here. It, here See, it comes. I want a career like that. Not like not like that, but like not like that. You know, I pop in for ten minutes of a podcast. Yeah, I'm out of there. Mm-hmm. I yeah, yeah, huge check. <laughs> I mean, well, he d- first probably we, did. Step one: get pulled over for drunk driving. Okay. Step yeah. two: call mm-hmm. the officer pulling you over. Okay. Sugar tits. Sugar tits. Step sugar three: tits. proceed to rant about Jews endlessly. Step four: be sure someone is taken. But in, in our, that's just a step. Devil's by advocate: the way. sugar tits. You're complimenting the young lady. <laughs> it's true. Another thing. And if they're running the world, I mean, my God, they must be smart to do what, that. What <laughs> All right. You know what? Let's get into round two round here, folks. Two. What happened to chivalry? Is what I want to know. It's a great question. Game Master's Clue. This small-time crime comedy caper centered on local news 
paired a TV star actress <gasps> and a venerable uh, Eric Siska. Lucky numbers. It is lucky oh, numbers wow. for five Ooh. big points. Because wow. you think about that, right? Like a, a TV station thing. It's got to be lucky numbers. <laughs> it's yes. got to be lucky numbers. <laughs> Anything. There was uh, back in the multiplex days, quick lucky numbers story. Mm, please. Uh, Hell yeah. It was not me because I, I would totally cop to it if I did it. Another projectionist building up the print for that movie uh, put some of the reels out of order. Huh. Like just two of the reels were swapped or something. And literally nobody going to the movie noticed at the theater <laughs> until like the Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Someone like finally came out and was like, I think the movie's out of order. And dude, it had been in release for 48 hours. That is insane. <laughs> we saw that together. I think we had one yep. of those previous screens. Very yeah. avant-garde picture where stuff happened out of order. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, you're really going for it. Uh, uh, did Tarantino do this one too? <laughs> All right. Round three, the final round. Ooh. <clears throat> Game Master's Clue. Mm. Sick. This 70s set film was the breakthrough for its Nepo baby auteur, leading a second generation of that directing dynasty. <gasps> it featured a dreamy sign, uh, Andrew Jubin. The Virgin Suicide. It is the yeah, Virgin it's, Suicide. Wow, look yeah. at that. Hey, Chris, you shut the fuck out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> shut. I mean, Boom. Chris is also shut I'm the still, fuck uh, out. I'm still in the lead, so no, fuck is, you. So <laughs> you are in the Listen, uh, you're going to win. No, 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 I, no. I understand. Fuck you. Chris. Come on, but this is, a, this, is like, this is a rivalry. People love these in sports. Oh, sure, of We're trying to, I'm trying to get jocks into the uh -huh. show. Uh -huh. and so yeah, it's yeah. sort of like, you know, I'm the Yankees or the Red Sox kind of a, a, animosity. There you go. For sure. I, We're playing it up for, you know, obviously. We're both from New York, so maybe yeah, the, the color commentary that will be on the news about this will juke our numbers, both of us. So here's the thing. Okay. Uh, now, uh, Chris is 49. Yeah. Eric has 46. Mm. And Andrew Ooh. now in striking distance, 38 points. It's yeah. a huge, nice. now huge it's round for him. Now it's a game. Now it's a game. Now it's a game. We'll see. We'll <laughs> and see. we haven't, uh, have we added the birdcage? We will not add the birdcage okay. points until that there airs. Yeah, and yeah. then there will be the finale on Universal Soldier. So see us all here this summer, folks. That's right. That is right.